I'm ready. Hi guys, welcome to Laughing with Lana, the podcast that talks about everything and absolutely nothing all at the exact same time. I have a very special guest today because I have been wanting her on my podcast for I don't know how long since the day I fucking met her, Miss Nikki, Cakey Cakey Bitch. Thanks for having me. Wait, what the fuck is your last name? Because I was thinking you about know it. You what? I don't what? know yet. Oh. I don't know what I want my are, last name to be. Are we in the works? We are in the works. Nikki Picky. Picky Nikki. You Picky Nikki. That sounds like you pick your boogers. Ugh. I don't like that. But you know, Nikki! Nikki's in the house, bitch. Yeah, yeah. What do you do, motherfucker? Because, okay, so I met Nikki. Yeah, let's I basically, the story. Right. I met Nikki um, here at the studio. She was an intern here at the studio at Sticky Paws. So she was interning the same time I was interning. I got hired now, bitch. I'm working Shit. here. Yeah, yeah. You're like legit. Like, You're le- like my future life. Yeah, you know? I'm your future self, bro. <gasps> oh, my God. Because, like, I, like, so I was. Th- <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's going to be so cute. Oh, God. I can't wait. <laughs> bitch. It was, it, it was, it's, it's surreal. It's surreal because yeah. I'm like, I never thought I'd be on this end of this yeah. spectrum. But I did meet you here because I, I don't even know how we like even started like talking. But I knew the first time I started talking to you and you like, hey, you match energy. You're one of those like, yeah. you're, she's like a vibe check. Like, like, <laughs> like if, I feel like if there was like a random YouTuber uh, like out in the streets and they were like dancing or something, you'd be the one in the background dancing. They'd be like, yeah, white girl passed the vibe check. That'd be Yo. you. That would That'd be, be you. Me. I would totally do that. I, I know exactly, you would. Because yeah. you're that person. You're just so fucking funny, bitch. Why? Oh, sh- oh, you know, honestly, they've run some tests and I don't. <laughs> nothing's conclusive yet. So we'll get back to that. <laughs> we'll work on it. They ran tests. <laughs> Apparently there's like high blood pressure and ADHD and some other I stuff. I can see I the know. ADHD oh, is God. fuck, Who bro. Who can't? Oh, Who can't? <laughs> that, that's almost one where you're like, if you meet Nikki, you're like, Ah, ADHD. That's yeah. what it looks like. Textbook. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Textbook. Dead ass. <laughs> hey, because, oh, I was going to say something bad, but I can't say it on the camera. Oh. <laughs> Is it dirty? No. Okay. <laughs> I was going to be like, hey, better than being autistic. Oh, bro. <laughs> but, but Too soon. No, autism. I is, might. I think autism is a form of fucking genius, bro. I genuinely well, is, think yeah. so. Like Austin has autism. He's stupid, but, but I genuinely think like, he's, he's on the other side. You think so? He's on the other side. <laughs> He's on the dark side. He's like on the Austin, under. I tried, bro. I tried to give you credit. <laughs> Nikki no, was no, like, no, nope. took that right no. up from under him. That's fucked up. <laughs> okay, you, let's let's do it. Let's do a red pill, fresh and fit, access Vegas. Um, oh yeah, tell me about this. Oh, not even tell. I was gonna be like, what's your body count? Oh god, how old are you? And and your and your single married status. What are you? Oh my gosh, I know, is that still that. important these days? No, bitch, no, the fuck it isn't. Right? No. Okay. Okay. Because let me tell you something. Okay, let's talk about it. So yesterday, okay, guys, yesterday. Here we go. Yesterday I was on Fresh and Fit, mm-hmm. and, and 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 Access Vegas with Rolo and Michael and what's that dude's name from Fresh and Fit? Uh, that one guy. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's how. I, I don't even know his name, bro. Yeah. I just know that one's name is Fresh, one's name is Fit, and I didn't know that. I thought I really thought <gasps> I thought that was their show name. I didn't know that was it their nickname. It is their show name, bro. I'm the worst intern ever. Then I guess because there's so much I need to learn still, like names of hosts, <laughs> bro. You know. Well, technically, they don't record their podcast here because that I think that's why no one really cares. But oh, okay, fair. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get yeah. so much fucking troll now. <laughs> I, w- I wonder, this is my podcast, I can't. Oh, okay. I'm, okay. I'm gonna be like, hey, boss man, why are you even watching my podcast? Why are you watching my titties? Tits. You see? They're hey, tits. if you watch my podcast, and, 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 and anybody who works at Sticky Paws, I'm gonna be like, you be, but you saw my tits and my dick. We <laughs> We didn't even rehearse. That's just us naturally. Bro, this is us every day. Every, every time I day. see you. I, God, I think like, we need a theme song. Ooh. We'll work on that. Okay. Put it on the... it's, it's, That's it's... bad beat already. Yeah. yeah. God, we're white. Fuck. Okay. Damn. That shit. Yeah. That was terrible. Yeah. We're going to come up with a beat. We are. Beat. Oh, we, we, oh, we should make it about like ADHD. <gasps> ADHD. 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 Yes, we have. Been. All day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
spark emotion waiting to happen, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Miguel's over there being like, oh my God, what He's the like, fuck did I get myself? Baby Jesus. I, usually, usually, Nikki's the one who uh, yeah, engineers. This is so weird being on this side. <laughs> <A little bit. laughs> like, what do I do with my hands? Now I got my, Miguel, you're next. I'm going to have you on my fucking show. He's next. <laughs> say hi, Miguel. Miguel. Say hi. You say hi. No, no, you gotta unmute it from the thing. Yeah. Can you hear me now? No. no. Mm -hmm. It says engineer. Yeah. And then mute, unmute. And then you hit the pedal at the bottom of the. Did you hit the pedal on the bottom of the of the desk? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Huh. It's still not working. Weird. Hang on. Technical I want difficulties. Get, I want Miguel to talk. No, 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 no. no, no. no we're I'm coming for you. you. We're coming for you. I'm coming for you. So I'll just. Uh, oh, yeah. You might want to plug that in, you silly goose. <laughs> Y'all didn't see that, but I It was never plugged in. in. You know what? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear Miguel. Yeah, you're part of the conversation. I, we can hear Miguel. I guess so. We can hear Miguel. This is me saying hello. Oh, this, did, was, that Miguel. Yeah. was that the Lord? Was that the Lord? Did you hear that? Did you hear somebody talking? No. I thought it was Jesus. Oh, it was Miguel. It was Miguel. Okay. My dad. I mean, yeah. we left enough space for Jesus, but. <laughs> Luckily, Miguel's here, you know? Yo, okay, okay. wait. That's a okay. really good subject right there. We'll go back to the fresh and fit assholes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But if <laughs> so you... Tell me how you really feel. Uh, 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 if you met Jesus, <gasps> okay, what do you think his impression would be of you? <gasps> That's a good question. Mm. I'm going to go out on the strip and ask that shit. That's a good one. If Jesus met you, what do you think he would think of you? I think he would think I'm playing way too small why what do you mean just and you start saying like fuck the haters just i don't have haters if i do i don't really know who you are but <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what i mean like <laughs> but i'm just i'm just saying like it, it's kind of <laughs> she said if i have haters i don't even know who you are that was the best reply <laughs> to a hater in all time of like of all time <laughs> You can you're a hater. I didn't even know you was hating, bro. Like, who, who are you? <laughs> Unless you're like my boss or something. Well, yeah, but even yeah. even then. Okay, but what do you think Jesus would think of you? Honestly, I think he'd be like, why are you playing so small? Yeah. Um, Do it bigger. Like, mm. th I don't know. Get fucking wild as shit. Are we talking about dick still? Oh, God. No? Well, now I am. Now we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, go big or go you know. home. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this throw got talent. <laughs> this throw got oh, talent. I have a story for you. So I went bowling with my friends, mm -hmm. and you know how everybody gets to pick their little name? Yeah. My friend put throat goat. Yes, bitch. I love that for you or for her? For me. Yes, bitch. And how she's like, does she please. know that? She's like, please, please, please. I need this. I need this. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay, then you need this. And then, so every once in a while, like if I had a really good moment bowling or something, I'd be like, <laughs> and then, like it was like I had. Uh, <laughs> Wait, she was like, strike. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did that you know? shit, bitch. No spare. No spare. <laughs> I didn't have to come back for the second, mm -hmm. motherfucker. It was a I'm used to strike. throwing balls. You know, I'm used to throwing balls around. Can you lick the balls at the same time that you deep throat it? I haven't tried that. Oh. Should I put that on my list? Did you, bitch. I got okay. You. That's why they call me the throat goat. <laughs> I can do this the trick. throat goat learneth. The th <laughs> Students. <laughs> students. I felt studious. There's a, there, uh, uh, so, so on OnlyFans and when I was a cam girl, the reason why I had like my customers or my people, they would come back was because I did this trick with the dildo where I would stick the whole thing in my mouth and then I'd lick the balls at the same time. So I would like, like have it in there and then open my mouth and be like, to the ball. Wait, you had, you had a complete member in your mouth. Yeah. And we're still able to go like out and still able to like. <gasps> Wow. Stick out my tongue, lick the balls. That's a jiggle juggle. Like I wish I had like some sort of resume that you could list that. You know what I mean? Like, right, bro, because that's skill. Right. The shit. Why can't you like? What the fuck? The only resume you could do that is on porn and shit. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to like. It should, it should be like a dating resume. Like, hey, right. Like, hey, Here's I my cook, I skills. clean, and I can lick, lick balls, balls at the same time mm -hmm. at deep throat. That's amazing. It'd be great. But then but then now that people know that, it's like, oh, you're a 304. And I'm like, 
well, yeah, I had to practice. Like, <laughs> you act like you act like it was one dick that was gonna teach me that. No, no, it was a few. You know, it's so weird. I just suddenly have a picture of carnage. Cartilage. Carnage. You what know, is like, carnage? Like, do you know what I'm talking about? No. What is this? A like, Mexican girl. Like from Spider Man. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because he's like, <laughs> like with his like tongue and shit. Oh. oh, that guy with the tongue? No, the tongue. That one superhero with the big ass tongue? I don't know. What I'd let him eat me out. Okay. I would let that homie eat me out, bro. Yeah. What is that superhero's name? Uh, Carnage? Well, it, it isn't a superhero, it's a, it's a villain. But, I mean, to each their own, right? Isn't a superhero, isn't a villain just a superhero for the other side, though? Yes. Check, yes. We're right. <laughs> we're writing. We're rewriting Marvel but, as we speak. Yeah, fuck Marvel for making good guys villains. <laughs> I'm like, I want that fuck. badass man in between. <clears throat> Just air it out. <sighs> air it out my ass. I'm like, what it up, bro? <laughs> Spit on it. Spit on it like I'm the sidewalk, bitch. Oh, oh my god, that's. Oh, when was the last time you had like some really good sex? Really, really, really good sex. <sighs> Is it bad? I don't remember. No, because it's bad that I don't remember. Is it bad that we both well, don't yeah, remember? Yeah, it's bad that we both don't remember. Oh, my God. Miguel, is it bad on a bad. man's point of view? From a man's point of view. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm so unprepared you're, for this conversation. You're asking me the tough questions. I didn't know I was getting thrown into this. You know what? I yeah. threw him into so much this morning. I was Did like, you? Miguel, I think I think me and Miguel have became like best friends. Like, we're best Sticky Paws friends right now. <gasps> oh. No, you're my sister. Okay, good. That's my bitch right there. This is yeah. my bitch. No, but Miguel, it's because Miguel, like, as soon as Miguel <gasps> walked in, he He's, didn't even, you didn't even put your things down. He didn't even put his things down. And I was like, stop, Miguel, I haven't seen you in a long time. Hey, you got a second? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. Classic Lana. Um, bro, I, I'm heartbroken. I'm about to cry. So he texts me. My guy, t- I don't know what to do. I need a guy's point of view. What do I do? And then, and then he told me I wasn't wrong. And then that's when I was like, when a man tells me that I'm not wrong. You Fuck know, yeah. You know you're right. You know you're right. You know you motherfucker. Right. Because Yo. a bit. Okay, because let's be real. Okay, let's be real. This is a safe space. Safe space. Yeah. When you talk to a girl compared to when you talk to a guy about the exact same issue. Yeah. There's a difference. There's a huge difference. I hate it. Hate it. But I love it. Because I have I have Lady Rose as my best friend. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I have Chance as my best friend. Yeah. When I talk to these motherfuckers, right? I'm like, all right, it'd be the same situation, kind of like what I told uh, Miguel. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, all right, I, I, uh, I have this boyfriend. He's doing this. He's doing that. Am I wrong? Am I right? Right? Or sometimes I just want to. Yeah. Just. Sometimes, I'm like, this is what's going on. Chance will fix the situation. Oh, bro, this is what you, this is what you need to do. This is what you need, you to, need do. to do. You need to do that. Yeah, yeah. You need to talk to him, and you need to do this, and you need to do that. Mm-hmm. When I go with Lady Rose, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, bitch, like I just want to talk shit. I don't need you. I don't need no fucking. Advice, I just want to talk nothing. shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't need, I need advice. Vent. I just want to vent, and she'll sit there and talk shit with me about the motherfucker yeah. without ever meeting them. Like, she don't even need to meet them. But she'll be like, no, he's a cocksucker, motherfucker. He's a fucking puto. Fuck, fuck that puto. that motherfucker. Right? But yeah. it's different. No, because men want to fix things. They, they're they like natural fixers, right? Yeah. And then women, they're like, let's more community builders. We're so, emotional. of course, we're, we're not, everybody's emotional. But men show it in a way of, like, helping. And then women show it in a way of, like, community hype. Like, like, I got supporting. your back. Supporting. Support. Uh-huh. Oh, the right ones do. true. Yeah. Very much. Because mm-hmm. I support. Yeah. Because I'm one of those friends where, like, 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 you could have your boyfriend, right? Yeah. And if you came to me and you were like, you know what? This motherfucker cheated on me and I can't stand him. He, he treats me like this and he's a piece of shit. And I'm like, yeah, fuck that piece of shit. Dump him. I think he's fucking stupid. Yeah. But then as soon as she comes back to me two days later, she's like, okay, like I got back with him. I'm going to give him another try. Like we like him again. I'm like, hell yeah. I was always exactly. Team Robert. Yeah. I was always Team Robert, bro. What are you yes. talking about? Lock that dick down, girl. Lock, I got you. My fucking point. Yeah. Are you one of those people? Fuck yeah, I am. 
hundred percent, red or die. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah she really for real. is. Though. Because if like if you're if you're lit up and I then I will light up and I'm like that's let's get back going. <laughs> what a fucking chain reaction right now. Seriously, it's like domino effect. Fuck yeah, I'm like <laughs> so, sometimes a female support ain't the one you need, bro. Because I'm like. If you're talking shit about somebody, I'm going to want to talk shit about them with you. And yeah. if you're being supportive, I'm going to be like, yeah, okay, I'll be supportive too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't do no, let's fix this matter. Hey, let me give you advice on how to fix a man who's cheating. Fuck that puto. <laughs> and I'm also, like, like let's see if we can, like, get his tires while he's not girl, paying attention. Girl, good fucking Fuck slashing tires. I'm. I'm That's more, a lot of work, though. I'm more so of, like, just, you know, loosen the, loosen the Lug nuts? And just let let time ride out. Yeah, let, let, I'm gonna let the you long do game. you the long game. Yes, because because I'm like slashing tires. It's a little too quick. A little too quick. I yeah. feel like I feel like loosening the little bolts on the fucking on the tires. I'm like karma will get you on that one day. On that one day. Because that one there's gonna be that one day where you're having like a great fucking day, a great day, and then <laughs> boom, your tire just fall off. The fuck? And or, you'll never suspect. And you'll never suspect it because you never. never know. Or, or you could be having a horrible day. The worst <laughs> day of your fucking life. And then yeah. boom, your fucking tire falls off on top of that. That's all I want in life. That is. Fuck you. Whether you're having a good yeah. day or a bad day, out of nowhere, your tire just falls off. Think of me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Plan complete. What is, what is your like, 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 what do you call that? Your karma thing. Like, what do you, what are you the type? Like, I'm a blocker. That's What's like, that mean? Uh, I, I don't know what I'm trying to ask, if that makes sense. Like, how do you let karma t- take its place kind of thing? Yeah. Like, how do you let the universe do its yeah. natural Yeah, because I'm, like, I'm the type that I'll block somebody, and then, like, later down the line, I end up finding out, like, oh, yeah, they had a miscarriage or something. And I'm like, oh. I'm like yeah, well, you deserve that. But mm-hmm. I just, like, end up, like, blocking people out. Like, what do you do? Like, do you block people, or are you, like, the type to, like, like text somebody a long ass message and then block them or you text them a long message and don't block them or what do you do oh okay so that, i get what you're saying somebody yeah. yeah yeah so like if i need to cut somebody off i literally like i think of all the things that could make them be the way that they are like i give them the benefit of the doubt yes. just for a moment because it's like we're all going through shit like yeah you know we're human however if i find out that it's like malicious and they've given there's no reason for them to act that way then i'm just like Hmm. okay that's so true i shut them down first emotionally and then anything physical like whether it's blocking them like on you know phone yeah. or whatever yeah like i just i wait it out because i want to give myself time to come down from the rage or whatever the rage yes, yeah like the babe. burning hate fire yeah. that grows in you and you're just like i just need to you know what i mean give yourself a chance to catch up like your your heart and your mind you know what i mean yeah, yeah. because that's that's true it's like i feel like women you know how they say like when when you're horny rub one out before you call somebody 100 percent. because then you make stupid decisions oh yeah like like i feel like women need a um like a, a rub one out before you that's react exactly an emotional rub out yeah an, an emotional em- rub out <laughs> it's, it's a thing i'm making t-shirts <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> also why do we have to rub everything out in the morning at 6 a.m and then suddenly at 7 and then also maybe like 10 and then also 12 why is that a thing is that a thing it's so necessary sometimes bro because i'm like like me it's smoking weed oh my god i have to tell you a story (gasps) tell me which is so funny so like the other day it's been it's been it's been hard financially for me right yeah so um i haven't had i haven't had the money to buy weed i have money to pay my rent Right, but right. I ain't dipping in my rent to go get some fucking weed. I'm not because you're person. smart. Because I'm a smart adult. Smart bitch. I'm like, but I got a roof over my head. Yeah, but you I got no weed you're in that roof. An adult. I ain't got no weed in the roof, bro. Because I'm an adult. And I'm you know what? That's okay. We need a PO box where you can send in your favorite type of like pre roll or something. Send it over to the PO box. Pre roll. Lana will be very happy about it. Thank I you. I I want I want flower only. I like flower, flower only. and backwoods. Only. Ooh. Shout out Backwoods. Sponsor me, bitch. Ooh. Backwoods. What's <laughs> I up? I love Backwoods. Yeah? Yes. The okay. Bu- the brush- okay. If you guys have not tried the Backwoods, Black Russians, they smell just like chocolate. They smell <gasps> like Tootsie Rose. They did t- you bring here once? I did. Yeah. That's I, the only, I did. That's the only kind of it smoke. It smells so good. It smells like so a Tootsie good. Roll. Yeah. Oh, Black Russian backwards. Oh, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Shout out backwards. That's Either like way. how you're, you like your men, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Black and Russian to that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, well. You're welcome from Russia with love. So, so the... (laughs) Sorry, go ahead. So there was... um, um, I I, I hadn't had weed in like two days, right? At (gasps) this point. And there was this guy that's, that had been stalking me. There's this. His name is Willie Mook. I'm putting you on blast because I can't fucking stand him. Wait, he has a name, Willie Mook? Willie? And he had the nerve to stalk you with that name? Bro. What? We, no, he had the nerve to stalk me with his fucking nose. Ugh. The fact that his nose is the size of my entire body oh, I, is, bro. is a fucking issue. What I know, a mook. <laughs> listen, his nose is a fucking mook. This dude had um he he's the type that he would like call me he text me all the time and yeah. i ended up just leaving him alone and then i even blocked him on one of my other phones because i was like he's weird mind you mind you we were supposed to be working on a cartoon together yeah my voice he yeah. has a cartoon we were gonna work together oh nice he ends up like like he just made too many like one too many passes at me for me to know like like okay i don't want to work with you and i know it's not going to be a business relationship because you want to sleep with me you've said it already about yeah. four fucking times that you think I'm beautiful and all this bullshit and he calls me baby and I'm like don't call me baby if we're working together that's just weird yeah so um um push came to shove I blocked him on everything oh no 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 excuse me excuse me I'm skipping apart push came to shove I needed money mm-hmm. and he told me that he would pay me $150 to FaceTime him that's how desperate this dude is he paid me $150 to FaceTime him. I FaceTime him. Mm-hmm. Next time, he was like, I want you to pay. I want you to do this. He was like, I can't afford the 150 Can we do 100 He was like, but I want you naked. If you can do this naked and you talk to me for like 15 minutes, I'll give you $100. Okay. I made a lot of money off of this yeah, dude. I bet. Yeah, To talk to him naked. Yeah. To talk. Okay. Yeah. Desperate. So this dude... Um, I ended up, I ended up at the point where I'm like, I don't want to answer your calls. I don't want to work with you. I don't like, I'm already over it. So I right. just blocked him. Mm-hmm. I don't think I needed an explanation because no. I already told him, I'm like, you already, I already see that we're not going to do the cartoon. Yeah. I, I, I literally told him the truth. Yeah. Stop talking to him. He hits up my fucking modeling agency and no. books me. <gasps> books no. me. But they collected the money, right? No, no. So hear me out. The um, he books me, and he ends up telling my modeling agent that she that he wants to get on a three way call with me. He was like, "Is there any way that you could get her on a three way call so that we can talk about like planning the party and planning the the um, the modeling event?" And so I couldn't answer because I was here engineering. Right. This dude. So. My agent, she goes, Lana, she goes, do you know a guy named Willie? And I was like, yeah. She was like, is he creepy? And I was like, he's a fucking creep. I was like, I have blocked him so many times. I don't text him. I was like, he texts me nonstop and I don't t- reply. He doesn't catch the hint. I haven't spoken to him since March. Holy shit. He st- this happened four days ago. Holy shit. Yeah. So I was like, this dude is constantly like just reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. And to the point where you hitting up my modeling agent to get on a three way call with me, bitch, I called him. I called him. I went 25 minutes roasting and cussing this dude out top of my lungs. I'm sure the neighbors passing by. I'm sure the dogs understood what the fuck. 25 minutes? 25 whole minutes and this dude did not hang up. And I'm calling him a big nose bitch. You small dick bitch. You fucking desperate trick. Of course. And he's telling me, he's like, let me speak. Let me speak. I ain't fucking letting you speak. You fucking big dick bitch. Or (gasps) big dick bitch. Big nose bitch. You small dick bitch. I was like, you're fucking desperate. You paid me to have a FaceTime call with you. You're a desperate piece of shit. Why would I want to continue anything with someone who's going to have to pay me to chat with them? Like, let's be fucking for real. So I cussed him out for 25 minutes. Top of my lungs, okay? like You're an angel, though, because I would would like. No, my my thing is when I hung up, bitch, when I hung up, my body felt like I had just smoked two blunts. Oh, fuck yeah. I felt great. Oh, good. Kind of good, bitch. But I was yeah. like, my thing is, I didn't have no weed for two fucking days. <laughs> Long I had story weed short. For two days. <laughs> Long story short, this is why I tell people society needs me to be on THC. Because if not, then your fucking ass is going to get cussed the fuck out. And then 100%. I feel better. I'm like, and, and that's how it used to be. Before weed, I used to cuss people out, and I'd feel better. I swear to God, you can ask people, bro. I yeah. was not a good person before weed came into my life. As soon Thank as you, weed, weed came, fairies. yeah, bro, as soon as I started smoking weed, I was like, oh, my God. There's this thing called calm. 
<laughs> love it. It tastes I so good. It. Are you a calm person? Are you a mean person? You're a nice person. You ever get confrontational? Um, you know, I want to be more confrontational, to be honest with you. <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> it's like a goal of mine. Um, and I wouldn't call it confrontation. I would call it um, a strong conversation. Oh, a strongly worded conversation. <laughs> a like strongly worded letter just waiting to happen. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Have you ever cut somebody out? Um, you know, honestly, I don't remember the last. It's probably like in high school. Like I haven't. It's been a long time. You don't cuss people out? Bitch, I do this once a week. And honestly, the last time I probably cussed somebody out was like maybe two years ago. And it was all of like five minutes. And it was to my brother. Yeah. But to your brother, what do you do? We got into like a physical fight. Like he, he was oh. just really drunk. So um, like it's kind of like one of those weird moments. Girl mm. I ended but, up in jail with that. Mm. So I mean, but it's kind of cool because my reflexes are still really fast. I'm really surprised at that. Like, <laughs> you never, you never <laughs> lose <laughs> it. You never lose that killer uh, instinct. But is it that you never lose it with your brother though. Mm. Sound like a brother fight? It, it always seems like it's still just a brother fight. I don't care how old we are. No, because like. I moved away, so mm -hmm. like our we're actually like, you know, we're not we never get physical with one another. We don't really curse each other out. We're just like fuck you, and then we just leave it, like <laughs> like normal, you know, normal adults, yeah, normal adults and families that like ignore their problems totally. Oh god, yeah. see, okay, does your family do that? Kind of. I mean, we just kind of like we accept it, and then we just let it lie. We don't really discuss. We can discuss it, but it's not like. What do you guys think we should do? Because nobody ever takes action. Mm. So, mm. yeah. Because that's the that's the funny part too. Is like my family's the type to like sweep stuff under the rug and like ignore it, mm -hmm. and I'm the type to talk about it. Yeah. And I'm like, and and I wouldn't say I'm the most stable in my. I'm not the most stable in my family mentally. Like, let's be fucking for real. But I feel like I'm the one that's like I understand everybody's point of view because I'm the one who wants to talk. Yeah. No, I'll talk it out. I'll be like, oh, really? Why is it that way? Blah, blah, blah. Like, so sometimes I'll poke the bear a little bit too much and mm -hmm. I'll just like, oh, because I don't want to let it go and I don't want it to be ignored forever. Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> so I'll keep going. I'll poke at it. Um, but now, like, it doesn't really work that much. And when you realize that sometimes you're working with mentally unstable people or just like people just they have no tolerance for anything. They're just, you're, it's a losing battle. So it's like, all right, well, I'm going to go get a drink. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what are, you, what are you supposed to do? You know? What are you supposed to do and stuff like that? Cause, I, oh my God, that was that was the whole reason why I had like pulled over Miguel. Screw it, they got <laughs> game a ticket and everything. I was like, I pulled Miguel because because the person that I was talking about was my my ex boyfriend. Yeah, I told you this story, right? <gasps> Which one? Like, okay, so you're not with the same you're not with the same guy anymore. Where do we? I know. Where, where we did at? we leave off? <laughs> Let's go back to the backlogs. Like, since I, <laughs> since I've met Nikki, I've been with two guys. But it not was, at the same time. It, not at the. <laughs> I feel like that's actually really important and vital information. You know what I mean? <laughs> These days, it was not at the. Bitch, why you keep bringing? It's not. I stopped you once. So I um um, uh no, I was I was with two guys, but it was like one right after the other. Yeah, and it wasn't planned. It wasn't like expected. It wasn't anything like that. But the the second guy, my my best friend. I got with him, and he, he yeah, that's right. kept ignoring me. <gasps> yes. Okay, and then you broke it off kind of, right? Yeah. Like, it wasn't official. So where do we leave after that? So I broke it off officially. Okay. But I fucked up. What do you mean? Maybe oh. I did fuck up. I'll admit it on I, like, I'll admit it on the podcast. It's how real I am. So I basically, I, I said that he wasn't ma like a man. Yeah. Because I was like, you know, what what you did. When you're, when you're telling me that you need help, but you don't seek help. Yeah, I I find that to be weak. Yeah, because 100%. I'm like you're you're a strong person when you know like like I feel I find it strong when you know what you need to do and you do it. Yeah, that's a strong person. But like me personally, like I I need I need to work out to get my knees right, but I don't do it. So guess what? My knees are weak. Makes me weak. It makes my mentality weak. Like that. In, like physically, I feel like right. when it comes to working out, I'm a weak person when it comes to working out. So. When you're telling me, like, I need help and yeah. you don't seek help, that's weak. So I called him weak and he didn't like that, obviously. Yeah. And I called him out his name. 
a few times where oh. I was like, because, you know, I, I, I added bitch after week. You know, like, you a yeah. weak bitch. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> As one does. Yeah. When they're fighting. Because yeah. I was really upset because I was like, I was like, bro, you know how many, like, one-sided breakups I've had? Yeah. And how many one-sided arguments I had with myself because I text you in desperation. Like, I just text you so desperately hoping that you're going to reply and then you don't reply, but I'm supposed to be understanding because you're going through something. Yeah. And I get it. Like, it's selfish, but, like, it's been, it's been now, now it's been seven weeks. And I just broke up with him a week ago. <gasps> so technically speaking, it That's... was six weeks of me being ignored yeah. and me being like left on the side burner. See, you do the same thing. You give people the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe they're just yeah. going through something. Da, 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 da. Give them time and space to like come up and like be yeah. who they are. But when they don't, you know, reciprocate. Yeah, because I'm like, like if, fuck you. <laughs> like, am I am I wrong? Because he's making me feel like I'm wrong, and I'm like, what is he know. fighting for? To ignore you for another six weeks? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. Oh, you would like to be with me so that we can ignore each other for the next six weeks? Thank you so much. My point, because he did that to me before. He ignored me before. Yeah. For his ex girlfriend. I'm like, we were because we were best <gasps> no. friends before all of this. Oh, that's right. It doesn't bother me. Like, but like, you see his choices, and they're starting to make a pattern, and yeah. you're kind of like, well, then what's what's important to you? Yeah, because because okay, when um like we were best friends for four years yeah. before his girlfriend came along. Well, at the time when his girlfriend came around, best friends for about three years. Yeah. So we were like tight knit. Like that's my dog, right? I, like I would do anything for him. And when his girl came around, his girl was like, you know, she likes you. She wants to be with you. I don't like her. I don't trust her. So he was like, all right, Lana, like, I'm sorry. He did tell me, like, yeah. I'm sorry. She doesn't like how you, she doesn't like that you call me babe, but I call everybody babe. Yeah. But she was like, I didn't like that. She doesn't like that you call me babe. So I have to, like, leave you alone. I have to respect her. I didn't understand it. I was like, I, I don't like it. I didn't do anything to you or to her. And I don't want to fuck you. So I don't, in, I didn't get yeah. it. Yeah. He stopped talking to me for a year. So then we get back to talking, and when we get back to talking is when we end up getting back or getting together. We didn't, and I didn't know that that's what he wanted from me, right? Yeah. But um, kind of deal where I'm like, you already stopped talking to me once, and you ignored me once, and I didn't do shit to you. And now this time I'm like, you're, you stopped talking to me a second time, ignored me a second time, and I didn't do shit to you. Why up. am I going to sit around and wait around for the third time for me not to do shit to you and you do this all over again? Yeah. And mind you, I talk to him because I'm like, listen, you're my best friend. You know I can't have babies. Mm -hmm. You know I can't have kids. Yeah. You knowing that, do you want to go through the in vitro with me, surrogate with me, or adoption? I was like, because I want to have a baby. I'm not going to give up on that. But, like, I just need you to know that I cannot get pregnant naturally. So right. it's going to be a headache. Are you going to be able be to handle that? Commitment. Yeah, commitment. Exactly. Yeah. Are you going to be able to handle that, to go through it with me? He said, yes, I love the idea. Like, to go through that with my best friend, I love the idea. And then you ignore me for three days. Yeah, so I'm like, so I'm like, I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm like, bitch. In vitro isn't 100%. Right. Neither is surrogacy. So what happens if our surrogate gets pregnant and then, God forbid, she fall down the stairs or she fucking Gets something. struck by lightning. Or, uh, God forbid. But yeah, 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 something yeah. fucking happens and we lose the baby. Are you going to make me go through this miscarriage by myself because you are going through a fucking personal issue? Oh, I lost my baby. Bitch, like. Like, that's what I'm scared of is, like, if shit gets down, if shit it's gets... real. Yeah, yeah, when shit hits the fan and shit gets real, mm -hmm. am I going to be just left on the back burner again and you're just going to ignore me because you're depressed? Like, what the fuck is that about? So, like, I didn't think I was wrong, but everything in me still feels wrong about it because... Well, I think it's because you have empathy. Like, yeah. you know somebody's going through a hard time. You recognize those feelings, and that's totally normal to not, like be there and be in that moment you know and that's my best friend yeah but now like you also have a right to ask about the real you know consequences and choices for things yeah i mean trying to live a life here you know what i mean he yeah no. yeah i think with him it's more so like the 
It's more like like he he does the he does he says the shit that's gonna keep me around. Yeah. Like like he'll ignore me for two days and then hit me with the I think we need to talk about the thing that we were talking about. I find it super important that we talk about me and you. And then I get all excited, like, oh, okay, there's me and you. Or like like why did we get on the conversation of my I mean, mind you, this was in a matter of four days. We were only together for four days before he started ignoring me. Holy shit. So I'm like, in a matter of four days, you're telling me that you're gonna go you're like we're talking about babies, we're talking about like being together, we're talking about all of that. Yeah. And and for you to like just go back on your word and tell me like like I just don't know like I don't know what I just didn't know what to do. I feel bad. That's like the longest shortest relationship you've ever been in. Longest shortest. Longest shortest. Known him like for it. thirteen years. Best friends with him for four. Yeah. And I was with him for four days. And when I tell you, bro, like I think I'm more heartbroken now than I was like no maybe not like over my ex husband because that one was like that one was hard to go through. Right. But this is like top second. Aww. Like hardcore second, like strong second because I'm like. Bro, you were my best. I've never right. fucked a friend. Have See you, that? Do you fuck your friend? Can you fuck a friend? I can't. I can't. I can't. I have it. no. Mm -mm. Why though? Well, they're my friend. That's weird, right? <laughs> um, I can't have. I, I just can't because I get too emotionally attached. Like I want. I want. Like I'm also territorial. Like if I if I lick it, it's mine. Oh. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. Like, oh. you know, I don't share. Yeah. Also, like, I don't know. I really like the idea of like that one person. Like no. Anybody can have any kind of lifestyle. I'm not knocking in that. I'm just saying that, like, I like having someone that's, like, a lockbox. Like, I know they have my back mm. in everything and anything. Yeah. And I don't have to feel weird or embarrassed or whatever. And so, you know, and I – because I provide a safe space for them. I, you know, I expect that of them. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I don't know, like a friend could – it just – it sounds very temporary, like, friends with benefits for now until you find what you want. You know what I mean? It just sounds so temporary. That that was that was one thing that he had said. He was like, "We can't be friends with benefits because we're way too cool for that. Like we're legitimate best friends." He was like, "I think we're way too cool to be friends with benefits. You'd have to be my girlfriend or nothing." Mm. So I'm like, "I'm not even the one who wanted to be with you." Oh, okay. So Weird. he started this. He started the whole thing. Dang. He started this entire thing. Got my pussy and left. Damn. This Motherfucker. Shit, right. This shit fucking made me feel weird as fuck because I'm like. I'm like, bro, of all people, like, I never thought a homie would be the That's type. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, yeah. Like, I could be friends with my exes, but it's like I have a real clear boundary. Like, we're never going to go back there. You are doing you, yeah. and that's it. Like, it's never going to be blurred or one night we drank too much. It's never going to be that way, ever. You know, I, you know what's crazy is that, like, my exes are probably some of the greatest friends that I have. Yeah. Isn't that weird? I don't like, think so. It's not. No, I thought when I was when I was younger, I'm like I could never be friends with my ex because <laughs> we saw each other's naughty parts. You know, like, <laughs> but I was just like a kid. I was like, they know how I sound and smell and stuff. You know, he's like, yeah. I just like I don't want to share any of that shit. But um, like now that I'm older, it's just like it makes sense that like like you you can stay friends with people that have gone through life with you, whether whatever that looks like. Yeah. So if they went through life with you at a intimate time in your life or whatever that is like if they're a good person because typically we do pick people that we see a future with whether yeah. it's going to be like a long-term relationship or really really good friendship that's what i keep in mind when i whoever i meet so it's kind of like it makes sense to be friends with them after it you know does I mean? make sense well i guess it does yeah it does but it doesn't because i'm like a lot of my a lot of my exes I'm like, we were so cool hanging out yeah. that that's what made me want to fuck with them. And then I'm yeah. like, damn, bro, I should I should have just left it as a friend. <laughs> you are so it. cool. Like, I'm yeah. like, you're so cool. Because one of I have like three of my exes. Like, <laughs> one of them's not really an ex, but we were like, we were. I thought he was an ex, right? And he made sure to tell me like. <laughs> No, bitch, we was never dating. And I was like, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> this whole time? Shut, bro. I picked up my dress. I picked up my dress. I picked up the... I'm oh just my, kidding. Dead ass. No. <laughs> this house is so cute, though. <laughs> the and, white picket fence. Oh, my God. And I, I got this all this orders from Ikea. Like, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? <laughs> what? God bless it. You know? <laughs> bitch, I've done that. Yeah, that was... <laughs> But I'm still friends with that homie because I love him so much. But it was it, it that was one of the most embarrassing um, deals because I was like, it was we were at a restaurant actually we were at a restaurant and I was like trying to sit next to him and I wanted to hold his hand and he's like what are you doing? 
and i was like Awkward. mind you mind you like it's because like behind closed doors we were all over each other okay like, behind closed doors all over each other but when we went out to eat in la like in his home base yeah it was like what are you doing and i See, was that's like that's why friends with benefits this is this is a friends with benefits moment yeah you're like I want to hold your hand because you're thinking relationship focused, but friends with benefits, like uh, apparently hand holding in public is frowned upon, you know? It's so frowned upon. I was yeah. like, you can stick your whole wee wee inside of me. <laughs> but you can't but hold you, my fucking you hand. You can't just like dabble with my hand a little bit, just do this. Like, so that was, that conversation was funny as fuck. Cause I was like, <laughs> wait, I was like, bro, I really, I thought we was moving towards. <laughs> Being together, and you over here telling me, it's like, no, like, I got a whole thing going, like, I don't want to be with nobody, like, I'm still not over my ex kind of deal, and I was like, oh, I was like, okay, but I stayed friends with him, because I was like, all right, if we're not going to do that, but I even told him, I was like, I was like, listen, like, we can do what you want to do, I just can't have sex with you, and that's when it, that's when things changed, obviously, because to him, it was like, Wait, like the sex is good. And I'm like, that's what I wanted. The sex was that's fucking great, for. bro. Yeah, sex is great. But then it's a, uh, it's a, uh, like, I was like, I can't, I just can't have sex with someone who just thinks of me as like a little buddy. Yeah. Like, exactly. like yeah, I was like, you gonna come? No, nah, I'm good. And you don't even get a Christmas present. That's what but it that's makes me mad. But that's the homie. Like, you didn't give me a Christmas. See, I would give Christmas him a Christmas present. See, that's still my. He's gonna be on my podcast. He's been on my podcast. He's been on my podcast, and he's gonna be on my podcast with his friend like in a few weeks. And I was, <laughs> that was one okay. guy that I was like, oh my god, bro, like that. I thought it was gonna work out. I thought me and him were like this, and then it was like, no, no. he's yeah, he's he's good people though. One of those people that I don't want to say it in a weird way. Cause I don't want him to see this and then think that I like still <laughs> want to be with him. Right. right. But he was one of those people that I like. I had wished it worked out. Right. Just because he's funny. Yeah. He's so fucking funny. But the fact that it didn't work out, he we're still friends. Like we're still friends. We stayed yeah. on the phone for like two hours. We're talking about his bitches and my bitches. Like it's like one of those friendships now that I'm like, this is cool. Like yeah. we're like we're good. Yeah. That's we're what good. I mean. Like you can either pick the friend like area or you can yeah. be more than that. I don't. I feel like in the middle space. It. I know people can have been able to make it work out, but it's just like it's just <sighs> not for me. But, uh, what? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 What if it's, like, back... Okay, because, like... I saw, I think it also depends on okay. who it is. What do you mean? Is it a man or a woman? For what? what for... For what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, it's a man. Okay. But I'm just saying, I feel like it depends sometimes on the sex or whatever. You think so? I think so. You think you could do it with a woman? I don't, I don't know about that. Wait, do you fuck girls? I don't. Oh, have you ever? No. Why not? Um, you know, it has... I should put it in my calendar. <laughs> Just give me a second. Do you know anyone that's, you know... And me? That like chubby, fat, <laughs> middle-aged white women? Because... I've got that going for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, let, me check. let me just put this in my calendar real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I have not. I have oh not my God. had the uh, and curiosities. I mean, there was this almost moment, and then uh, what? Uh, Talk about the almost moment. What is the Bruh. why the hook? Because some people are really bad at like hygiene. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and I was just like, <laughs> I feel like I need a drink to tell this story. But honestly, like. <laughs> Tell the story. Tell the story Jesus. sober. No. <laughs> it's even worse when you're sober because then you have to relive it. Oh, it's so torturous. But all like I guess the uh sexual or I guess the terminology is tongue punch her fart box. No, that's not right. What? That's the tongue request. Punch? And I was the fart box. I was like, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> is this no. eating salads? No. Would you eat an ass? Hell no, I would not. Wait, no wait. judgment to those that do. I know it's like it's a I acquired ass. taste. I yeah, I just I could not. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really hungry for lunch though too because it's like lunchtime and I'm like, oh man, a salad sounds so fucking good right she now. Crunching. <laughs> I got a bunch of crunch. He's a bunch of crunch. He's the host of oh, Fresh and Fit. God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about salads on Fresh and Fit today. Oh, oh. Bro. Uh, but no, like. It Wait, was, what's the story? So honestly, long Details. story short, um, married couple. They oh. were just like, yeah. And then, um, you know, just like the house wasn't very clean. And then I was like, okay, I don't know. Maybe I just need to drink more. Maybe I'm being too picky. You know, like when you like yeah. question yourself about everything. Yeah. And then the next thing I know, I'm just kind of like, like 
they're like, we need to go have a smoke real quick. When their body odor is like cigarette smoke and then like BO. And I'm like, I got to I got to get the fuck up out of here. This is so fucked up. Like, Were they high on drugs? No, oh. I, don't, I don't think so. so. The bo was just bo, like, and you didn't notice it until like closer to coming off. And I'm like, I, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm a virgin. This is too scary for me. Uh-huh. I have to go. Shut up. Okay, what body the, part smelled? The cooter. The cooter. Her cooter stung. I was like, no. Her coochie stink stink. Oh, bitch, your coochie stink stink. What it smell like? No, let's not relive this. That's what it smell like. A just... wet sock. A dirty sock. <laughs> A wet dog. It smelled like. Uh, I feel like I need a sprite after this, but actually, <laughs> like, um, like B O and like cigarettes and ashtray and like sweat. Oh, <laughs> Can you see her face? Like, no. Oop. And I'm like, Ooh. yeah. And so then, since then, I'm like, you know, how life close is not did that you bad. get? I almost threw up in her like area. In her cooter? I was like, I, start, I, smell, I was like, Bleh! and like, she's like, are you okay? I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh. <laughs> I started my period. I don't know. I started my period. <laughs> you know what's embarrassing? You know what's embarrassing is being here. Like being, being here and someone's face is around here and then them being like, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm, and I'm t- glad that I don't I'm, live in the same state as this person anymore because listen go. on top of that Yikes. it's it's the conversation she had to have with her dude after that like I wonder why she left <sighs> well bitch her face was between your legs you are the reason <laughs> you why she left did this it was us. you and your stank ass pussy bitch go get in the fuck you fucking shower this as I smoke my cigarette on that's nope. crazy. Cringe 5,000. And then ever since then, I'm like, you know, that was just a sign from the universe that I just, I, nope, not going to play in that sandbox. Bitches. You know what I mean? You know? You're not into girls because, no. oh, no, nah, it would have been happened already. Yeah. I like girls. Yeah. I love girls. Nah. Okay, wait, hear me out. Okay. I like bitches, but they just, they're, they're um, manipulative. Oh, God. Let like, me tell I, you. I am a manipulator. And I Are know you? that, yeah, in a relationship, a little bit. Oh, okay, in a yeah. relationship. Yeah, not I'm not, not in, no, in general, I'm not. But yeah. in a relationship, I'm a little manipulative, just in a sense of like, like, like if, if we're in the middle of an argument, I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you, especially if you're trying to manipulate the fuck out of me. Like, I, I don't try to do it in a relationship, but in the middle of an argument, yeah, I'm going to manipulate, I'm going to manipulate it. Yeah. And she, like, girls... Girls tend to manipulate me the same way I manipulate men. So I'm like, did you just try to, bitch, did you just, did you just try to play a woman's game (laughs) on on a woman? Hell no. Did you really think that I didn't know what the fuck you was doing, a stupid ass? Like, no, I I fucking see it. I see it. You're not translucent. You're not transparent. I fucking see your manipulation game, you stupid bitch. That's what I don't like about dating women. I don't know. That's I love women, bro. Like their bodies funny. are great. The love is great. Yeah. The caring, the nurturing. It's just so it's so Are you the little spoon or big spoon? I'm the big spoon. I play the boy. Okay. I'm the that's boy. That's right, that's right. I'm, Dominant. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. I'm the type that's like, yeah, come sit on my lap, baby. Aww. I love a girl, my gosh. <laughs> my gosh. Oh, like oh, there's <laughs> I have stories to tell you. There's a there's a there's a there's a literal specific person that I'm thinking of right now that I'm like, bitch, I want you to sit on my lap, but I can't say it on the podcast. Oh, I can't wait for you to tell me after the show. I know. I know. But Do not no. forget because Miguel, write this down. I want to know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have to know. And on another note, moving on, moving on, moving yeah. on from that topic, because then people are gonna know who I have a crush on. Um, yeah. But uh, okay, so I was on Fresh and Fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The okay. Do they watch the show? Like, are they gonna comment on your Instagram and like? Bro, leave they you don't in watch now? my shit. They don't give a fuck about me. Okay. You really think they give a shit about me? Those guys do not. Those guys don't even give a shit about themselves. I highly doubt they give any kind of shits about me. You should have seen what happened on the back ends of like, like when you okay, guys. I'm going to tell you this much. When it comes to Fresh and Fit and the podcast that I was on, I'll tell you guys what happened in a little bit. But on the back ends, before the podcast even started, 
When I tell you that Myron cannot tell somebody that he's going to be a bitch. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to be a bitch today. Just no, not today, but maybe tomorrow. It's one yeah. of the like, like, like a real man yeah, could yeah, be yeah. like, hey, this is what's going to go down and this is what's not going to go down. Yeah. And I'm telling you to your face because I'm a man and I can tell you to your face. Right. That's not confrontational. No. That's, that's just, just, just being an adult. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't do that. They, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this. I really don't. But the simple fact that Myron couldn't tell Michael Sartain to his face that Myron didn't want Access Vegas to go live on Access Vegas or with Michael Sartain, he couldn't tell him to his face. It took one of the producers of the show to tell Michael Sartain, hey, you cannot go live on your show because Myron said that he doesn't want you to do that. Oh, is he a little guy? Bro. Is he a little one? He could talk to... Is he a little guy? You could... Like, Myron could talk to women brutally to their face and say, bitch, I don't fucking like you. Yada, yada, yada. But have you ever seen Myron cuss out a guy? I no. personally don't watch... I don't watch Fresh and Fit. I was on it, but I don't watch it. It's not my kind of... It's not my deal. Right. You know, like, let's be fair. I was on it for the opportunity. It's exposure. I'm yeah. on a podcast. I have a podcast. I need to get on other people's podcasts for exposure. Right. That's what we do. Yep. I'm um, like, a lot of people come on my podcast for exposure. I'm not, I'm no one big, but it gets your name out there. Right. You know, like, but um, the simple fact that, like, he can talk to the women so disrespectfully all the time, very confrontational. I've never seen Fresh and Fit, like I said, so I've never seen him cuss out a man, but I've never seen him cuss out a man. I've never seen him confront a man. He's scared. Obviously. Yeah. You couldn't even tell Michael Sartain. Michael Sartain is one of the sweetest guys in the fucking world. Like, mind you, I talk shit. Yes, I do. I hate their podcast. I do not like their podcast. Tell pod us what, how you really feel. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't like their content yeah. michael sartain rollo fresh and fit i don't like that content i genuinely don't they know that it's not a secret it's like art and art versus the artist like yes. they have what yeah. they put out there that's their their art it's their niche their niche whatever yeah. but it doesn't sometimes it doesn't really reflect who they are i mean in their some of the in their sense that like that's their full-on belief and stuff but it's just I, not our and I thing i genuinely yeah. don't think so i'm like yeah. rollo so sweet Yo, Rolo, no, I've met all of them. They're really, really, Rolo's really nice. Rolo's so sweet. Yeah. Michael Sartain. Michael gives me these hugs that are like, I'm like, oh, you like me. Like, <laughs> oh, Michael, like, you really care. Like, it makes me yeah, feel like he really real. cares. Like, he hugs me. He's just like, it's yeah. like a little extra squeeze. You know, it's like, ah, oh, okay, thank ah. Like, yeah. It makes you feel sometimes. But then that's what made me start talking to him. And then I'm like, oh, Michael, like, yeah. you're actually nice, dog. Nice like. Man. I was again, I told him, I'm like, I don't, I, I was like, I fucking hate your content, bro. Like, why are you like that? And he's like, it's, it's content. Yeah. And I'm like, but you're not like, you're not like that in person. Like, you're so fucking sweet. Yeah. You're so like Rolo and Michael, so fucking sweet. Myron was like that in person. Like he walks down the halls and he ignores everybody. Like he was somebody, which is fucking great. That's fine. But, oh, which by the way, I found out that Myron charges $50,000 to be featured on someone else's podcast. The fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> is he rich or something? Is he one of those royals? Bro. What is his he? His teeth are crooked. I'm like, if you were royal, your your bottom roll of your teeth wouldn't be so fucking crooked. And I could talk shit because I ain't royal. And the bottom of my teeth is fucking crooked. I'm ghetto as shit. But I'm like, my teeth are crooked, but I'm humble. Your teeth are crooked, and you literally charging $50,000 for somebody to be on your fucking <gasps> Maybe he's charging $50,000 so that he needs he's broke. Teeth. No, he needs his teeth fixed. Uh, he going to need a lot more than $50,000 for them teeth. But either way. Yikes. Not hating. Oh, inflation, you know. Not hating. It was a it was a decent. I genuinely don't watch the podcast. I'm, I never met Myron before. Yeah. Um, You know, Came across aggressive, so I gave him aggressive kind yeah. of deal. Like it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal. I got kicked off of the, <laughs> I got kicked out the pocket. Okay, bitch, wait, wait. You can vouch for me. <laughs> she can vouch. Wait, put this on a wide angle. Put this on a wide angle. <laughs> I can she can vouch for me. How forgetful am I? Oh my. You know what? If if we didn't have like a thing called a calendar or texting, <laughs> we would be so fucked right now. Like. 
I think we tried to do this for like the last month and a half. And I can't remember shit. I don't I don't remember yesterday. I, I just know that I was like, as long as I shower today, <laughs> I'm good for at least 24 hours. That's all I know. No, because you know? and it's gotten to the point where like I'll text you about like I'll, I'll, or we'll talk about it. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I need you on the podcast. I need you on the podcast. Yeah. And then excuse me. And then I'm like, I'll text you about it. Yeah. Uh, and I'll figure out like next Thursday or something. But I'm gonna text you about it. Yeah. What happens? No one texts nobody. Nobody texts Cause nobody. a bitch forgot, bro. <laughs> I forget shit. That's like, an HDHD, ADHD, <laughs> H to another ADHD, DH. <laughs> um, I uh, the spirit in me, um, the spirit in you, and your bro. attention problems. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> no, but okay, you could take it out the way. <laughs> but no, and, and like in all fairness, it's like um, I forget everything. I forget a lot. Mm-hmm. So mid conversation, Myron asked me a question, <laughs> and a bitch, I was, he asked me a question, and another bitch answered. Oh no! So then she, it gets onto her fucking boring ass answer. So I like I lost my train of thought because she was so boring. Her answer was like kind of. Like, doo doo. Like I was yeah. just like, all right, like looking around, right? Yeah, I really thought I was gonna get kicked off for looking bored. I swear to God, because I was sitting there, like I was just like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was bored out of my mind. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But, um, um. So the lady, she was talking. I lost. I lost what the fuck the conversation was about. So it goes back to him, and then he looks at me, and then he says, "So what was your point? Your standpoint in that?" And I was like. I stumbled my words and I was like something 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 and he was like are you even listening to what I'm saying and I was like none really to be honest like <laughs> <laughs> oh you done you done messed up Aaron because he'd be so pissed I could Bro, see that I, I was, <laughs> you didn't listen to me in my own voice in my own show you didn't listen to me oh my I God. think I'm pretty and you're not staring right directly <laughs> at me and I'm like bro who the fuck is like you Locking talk room. too fast bro <laughs> I was like, how the fuck you expect me to keep up? He sound like he sound oh, like no. an audio book on fast forward. Like, oh. why you speak so fast? I'm like, no, I don't keep up. You could call me slow all you want. I'm yeah. like, dead ass. When you speak too fast, I'm not gonna listen. Yeah, it's just it's like you're doing too much. Just speak just a little. Calm s- down. Calm down. Like, calm down. Slow it down. You're at an eleven. Like, what, yeah. Bring like, it down to like a five. Let's have a fun yourself? moment. Like we were talking. This is a. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's a podcast, bro. Why are you so angry? And he like came off angry. Like he comes into the podcast angry, and he like leaves angry. And I'm like, you just an angry little tall man. Like, Aww. so either way, either way, I told him I wasn't listening. So he was like, <laughs> he said, keep up. And I was like, all right. And I left. I didn't argue with him, yeah. bro. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna argue with yeah. a grown boy. So he goes, he uh, uh, ignored it. Whatever. Go on with conversation. Somehow the conversation comes back to me 14 girls later. The conversation comes back to me and I was trying to prove a point. And um, no, 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 excuse me. Uh, the, the conversation goes back to him. Excuse me, ignore that. Goes back to him and he lost his train of thought. <gasps> Did you say keep up? Yes. Please tell me. You- yes. Score he goes, he goes, uh, something, something. Uh, and it, uh, Never mind. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, go back to you. And I was like, well, keep up. <gasps> And then he was like, wait, 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 excuse me. He was like, what did you say? Oh, no, he like, doesn't like being told what to do. Oh, no. Oh, he How doesn't, he doesn't like to be treated the way he treats other women. He doesn't. He's a fucking cunt, bro. He's a little girl. Anyway, so he ends up, I was like, well, keep up. And he was like, what did you say? He was like, well, <laughs> I have a lot of things going on. I'm oh. speaking. So, like, I'm speaking so much and I'm doing a lot of things at the same time. And I was like, well, Good for you, I boo-boo. was doing a lot of things at the same time. He was like, how so? And I was like. When you started talking, she started talking. You started talking again, and then the conversation got back to me. I lost my train of thought. That's how you lost your train of thought. Well, you know what? I think it's time for you to get the fuck out. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right. Took off my headphones and left. Like, I was gonna smoke anyway. <laughs> I was already bored. Yeah. The conversation had no substance. You like fresh and fit, bro. I don't. My thing is, I don't understand how people are still sitting there watching that podcast when they ha- they ask the exact same questions every single time. There is not new material to their stuff. And the only new material but the outfits are is different. drama. But the outfits are different. He wears the same shirt in every podcast. Oh. He literally wears... I'm like, do you wash it? it <laughs> and to be honest, the only reason why I could tell that he washes his shirt is because the bitch was faded. I'm mm-hmm. like, you had a faded-ass black shirt on with the fresh and fit all fucking chopped up, looking all fucking rusty and shit. You, like... 
you wear the same shirt every single time. Oh, you want to represent your brand. I think everybody knows where you're from, bro. I knew who you were. I don't even watch your shit and I knew who you were. You don't have to wear the same outfit every time. You're popular enough. You're popular enough. Like, dude, change your shirt. You Maybe look he's sick. trying to merchandise that stuff. I'm sure. Mm. I'm like all the fucking. I would like the people. extra faded McFaded shirt, please. You know what? You know what's the thing is I'm like, they have, you know, like, I think it's like less than 1.2% of the demographics are women that watch their podcast. So they got a bunch of dick writers that are writing his dick <laughs> and he thinks he's like God's gift to women. Like he, I think he genuinely thinks he's God's gift to women, but I'm like, I am genuinely, bro. Aww. I'm like, there's a lot of guys who would pay to suck your dick and they're straight. Yeah. I'm sure of it. And the guy that 100%. was sitting next to him is probably one of them. <laughs> like, <I'm laughs> That's so- going to be a new episode of Fresh and Fit. What? Under, cu- under table. Under table? <laughs> <laughs> Find out what happens live. On the naughty like, version. This is why Myron's fucking hand is always like this. <laughs> He's always just jacking out the fucking bunch of crunch. <laughs> that other dude looked like a melted bunch of crunch, bro. His face, that dude, bendito. Yeah. That poor dude, bro. Like, I know I shouldn't talk shit, but like, when your face look like melted chocolate candy. God, I'm so hungry. Damn. <laughs> I want to what you would call it now. <laughs> I see that dude's face. I'm like, damn, bro. You make me want a chocolate bar. (laughs) Either way. I was like, Jesus Christ. I want to get on How much time do I have? What am I on? How much time do you get? An hour. I don't even know. Oh, you're past an hour. 101 you're at. Oh, 101. Lana 101. This is Fresh and Fit Bitches 101. (laughs) Just so you know, guys, to to, to end the show for me, because I'm going to ask you different stuff, but to end the show for me. Just know that Myron does not have the balls to say what he has planned to people's face because he couldn't even tell Michael Sartain that he didn't want Michael Sartain to go live on the podcast that I was on. He couldn't tell him to his face. He had one of the producers tell Michael Sartain that he couldn't do that. It's a bitch ass move, bro. Bitch move. Real bitch move. So I'm like, you could talk to women like that all day, but you can't talk to a man like that all day. Bitch move, right? Bitch ass move. This is, this is see, this is when you get the insight because I work here, bitch. And I'm a hype person, so I'll be hyping you up like, bitch ass move. Bitch ass move. Bitch ass move. Yeah. Bitch ass move. What? Bitch ass move. Wow. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nikki, I just need to know what is a life hack? That's usually what I ask people at the end of the oh, show. Oh, shit. And you didn't even prepare me? No, I never prepare so anybody. Okay. I know. I need a life hack. Aside from like, oh my god, keep going. Don't give up on your dreams. Fuck that shit. It's boring. I need a life hack. Like, 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 how do you fucking put a trash bag in the trash can that's like different? Like a cool ass life hack. What do you do? Um, if you take the a fitted sheet and put a blanket or a comforter on the other side, you can wrap it up and you get like a really nice little burrito. And you don't have to like make the bed. You can just sleep in that little thing. You know, just wrap yourself up in it because the blanket stays stuck in there. What? I don't, yeah, you're welcome. I've never heard of that. I, <laughs> I never heard that shit. I just discovered it's it. Like I was really tired. <laughs> so I was you... really tired and I didn't want to like make a whole bed. And I was like, you know what? The fitted sheet, if you just put it in over the comforter and then stuck, stick the comforter inside, you can make like a whole little burrito and then you just stay inside your burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. It's so nice. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to try that. You should try it. I love that shit. Miss Nikki, where can people find you on the Instals? Uh, Instagram, C8K3. That's my, uh, it's cake. It's cake. from my derby name. So, yeah. Because you cake and grow. You know, I did not know. It was like, at the time I made this name, I did not know that it meant booty. And I have like, <laughs> I have a whole video of me learning about it. And it's really, it's really sad. Like I, I had a whole breakdown. Not really. Breakdown, <laughs> but I was just like, I did not know. And now I feel like I have to do so many squats. You know? <laughs> I'm working on it. Anyway. So yeah, you can find me at CAK3 on Instagram and uh, yeah. you have to send me that video. So I will. It's like a play. All right, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, and on that note, get on the wide angle, wide angle, and Miguel, Miguel, say bye, 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 bye. <laughs> <laughs>